Kapapasok lang sa isang media interview matapang na nagpahayag si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos at sinuplak ang Di Umanoy Gentleman's Agreement o Secret Agreement na isinagawa ng nakaraang Administrasyong Duterte. Aniya kailangang ipaliwanag ito para malaman ng kasalukuyang administrasyon, dagdag pa ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, na hindi pwede na maging sunod-sunuran na lamang tayo sa gusto ng China. Samantala, patulak ngayon ang Pangulong Bongbong Marcos sa Washington DC para sa trilateral meeting with US President Biden at Prime Minister Kishida ng Japan. Tatalakayin ng tatlong leader na patatagin ang kanilang alyansa at ipromote ang peace and security in the Indo-Pacific region. Gayon din ang economic security, clean energy initiatives to enhance regional stability and people-to-people -people ties. Kasama na rin dito ang economic growth, technological advancement, climate change at inaasahan ang Pangulong Bongbong Marcos na makikipag-usap sa mga business leaders sa isang forum at nakatakda rin ang Pangulo sa isang bilateral meeting kay US President Biden. Narito ang report. Eh, ang, ang dahilan nitong uh, forum na ito ay eh, para ma masabi natin, maipaliwanag natin na ito yung mga plano namin gawin at ano yung aming pangangailangan sa iba't ibang mga stakeholder upang pagandahin ang sitwasyon ng traffic. Sir, yeah. hanap po tayo sa camera. Next oh, question nga. po. Ian, GMA7. Uh, Mr. President, I'm here. Oh, yes. Uh, sir, um, as we all know, yung mga uh, mesopace classes na suspend po in many uh, schools, kasi po sa extreme heat, we might face the same uh, problem po sa 2025 and 2026 dahil sa so projection po na na DepEd. 2026 to 2027 pa may babalik sa old uh, school calendar yung pasok ng mga bata. So ang healing po ng ibang mga sector, baka daw po pwedeng pabilisin para hindi na po mahirapan yung mga bata. Ibalik na po sa April, May yung bakasyon nila. Ano pong take nyo dito? Oo. Ay, ang problema talaga yan. <laughs> ang naging problema niya is the climate change. Dahil ng bago ang weather, iba yung season, uh, kagaya ngayon. At hindi naman natin inaasahan na ganito, well, usually by now, napakainit na. Pero maaga pa, mainit na talaga. Kaya tayo kailangan namin mag-adjust. So, we constant yan. Hindi naman na uh, baka, syempre, mina, sa, sa hanggat maari, gusto natin balik sa dati. Uh, dahil, I think, uh, medyo may consensus na talaga na mas maganda yung, mas maganda yung dating, uh, dating schedule. Kaya, uh, Eh, hindi naman sinasabi na hindi natin gagawin before next year or uh, the year after that. Susubukan namin gawin, sa aming palagay, baka mahirapan pa tayo. Ngunit eh, hanggat eh, may paraan, eh, gagawin natin ang paraan para ma ma pa mapaaga at mapabilis ang pagbalik sa, sa normal na schedule ng mga bata. Next question, Julie Baisa, 1PH. Sir, uh, ano po yung inaasahan nating specific commitments or gains from the trilateral summit po in Washington? Ah, well, this is essentially an agreement between uh, the United States, Japan, and the Philippines uh, on cooperation in terms of uh, maintaining security and freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. And uh, that is the essence of it. Uh, uh, but of course, it will contain more details in the sense of how that uh, intercooperation will uh, will be implemented. So that is what we are going to discuss now uh, when I when we go to Washington and uh, speak with uh, Prime Minister Kishida and with uh, uh, President Biden. Yeah. Uh, IBC 13. Hi. Sir, sinabi po kahapon sa NHA uh, na. Aaprobada na po yung budget for uh, Cavite, Bataan, Interlink Bridge. So, kailan po yung possible na matatapos po ito? Tsaka, ano po yung uh, tulong na ito sa economy dahil madadagdagad daw Anong po yung... tulong ng... ng sa economy po dahil madadagdagad daw po yung mga trabaho pa oh, pag once ma... Ano. Napakalaking tulong. Well, sa traffic lang, malaking bagay yun. Dahil hindi na maging dead end yung uh, bataan kasi may, laba, may, may tulay na. So this is, the, this is one of the big advantages of that. At uh, very progressive naman ang probinsya ng, bat, ng bataan. So we can give it even more impetus. Uh, well, basta ang, ang, uh, ang advantage ng, ng kalsada ng tulay ay yung lugar na hindi masyadong madaling mapuntahan ay bubuksan mo. 
It will make it cheaper to transport goods. Uh, it make it cheaper to transport uh, passengers. It will make it easier for uh, uh, for the infrastructure to be built up because, simply, may daan na at meron na tayong uh, uh, pwedeng gamitin. So, it, 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 the the only downside to uh, that is that it takes a long time. It's a 32 kilometer bridge. A 32 kilometer bridge. It is the second longest bridge in the world ang ating ginagawa. So it will take a little bit of time. But uh, I do not see any delays. Uh, sa ngayon, ano bang projection natin sa, sa Bataang Kabite? Where is uh, si Mat? Well, we are, as I said, uh, we are still, we, are, we have started already uh, the uh, pre-engineering, uh, the pre-planning. So it will take a little time, but uh, we have to start sometime. The other bridge that we are that we are now uh, looking at very closely is the Panay Gimaras uh, Negros. Uh, that is also another long long bridge that we are doing. The same thing, bubuksan mo. That that that's what happens is you open uh, to business, you open to uh, to all of the uh, uh, opportunities a place that did not have that access before. That's the main point of all of this. Yeah. Uh, Ah, they, they're asking when, when do we, when do, when? The Bataan, the Bataan uh, Cavite. Bataan Cavite uh, Preserve. Yeah. Actually, uh, yung Bataan Cavite Bridge is a project of the Department of Public Work Public and Transport. Work. No? Uh, they are now working closely with uh, ADB. Uh, ginagawa na rin yung detailed engineering design, no? But uh, yung procurement mag-start na, yung phase one. Uh, phase one, this is from uh, Cavite uh, going to, going to uh, Bataan. No? And then Bataan going to Cavite yeah. also. Yan. Ito si oh, yeah. Secretary yeah. Bunoan. Yeah. Yes po. Yung ano daw status yung nung... Uh, yung first semester po nito, we are now uh, inviting ho yung mga international contractors who has the experience dito sa ganitong klaseng proyekto. And uh, by uh, siguro itong uh, first semester, we will now be bidding out yung dalawang uh, land-based segments no, sa, ka, sa Bataan at saka dito sa Cavite. And then by the second semester, yung additional two other uh, segments. Para this year, siguro mga four segments. Kasi anim na segments po yan eh. So yung uh, mahaba yung gitna. Yung pinakamahaba hong segment nito yung 900 meters na kwan, cable state bridge, uh, cable state structure. Uh, siguro baka ma-bid na rin namin ito this year. Alright. Last question, Ms. Pia, the Sir, your reaction lang po on the supposed gentleman's agreement between your predecessor and China. Do you believe that the supposed agreement uh, a gentleman's agreement on the West Philippine Sea. Do you believe that the supposed agreement placed our national position at risk in the West Philippine Sea? And if so, should the former president be accountable for that? Well, uh, there's, it, it turns out uh, we don't know. It is a secret agreement. We don't know anything about it. There is no documentation. There is no record. There is no... They, we were not briefed when I came into office. Walang ulang nagsabi sa amin na merong ganong usapan. Uh, so I, we, we, we're trying to really uh, up to now, because uh, from the former administration, iba ibang sagot eh. Sabi ng isang official da, dating uh, dating government official uh, under the previous administration, there's no such agreement. Sabi naman ng isa, no, there is, and we should honor it. Sabi naman ng iba, maganda yan. Sabi ng iba, hindi maganda yan. Hindi pa namin alam kung ano ba talaga yung agreement na yan. But, kung ay, ang sinasabi sa agreement na yan, na kailangan tayong magpermiso sa ibang bansa para gumalaw sa ating sariling teritoryo, ay mahirap siguro nga uh, mahirap siguro sundan yung kla ganyang klaseng agreement. I am, I am, I am horrified by the idea that we have compromised in through a secret agreement the territory, the sovereignty, and the sovereign rights of the Philippines. That is something. We still have to clear it up. 
We are waiting for Ambassador Wang to come back from Beijing, na Malaysia, and I asked to see him. Baka siguro sa pagbalik na. Uh, at ipaliwanag niya, ano ba, sino bang kausap mo? Sino ba talagang kausap mo? Anong pinag-usapan ninyo? Anong pinag-agrihan ninyo? Was this an official thing or was it a personal thing? Ano ba ito? Dahil wala kaming record. Kahit saan ka tumingin, walang record. So, sikretong ginawa lahat ito. Bakit nila ginawa? Kung gagawin man nila, ba't pa nila ginawa ang sikreto? Nakaka nakakapagtaka nga eh. Kaya it's, uh, it's not a good situation. Sir, do you plan to talk to former President Duterte about I'm talking, we are talking to his, uh, his former officials. Maybe not the President himself, but all his former officials. Tinatanong namin, ano ba yan? Ipaliwanag din naman sa amin para alam namin yung ginagawa namin. And uh, we still haven't gotten a straight answer. Alright, thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Executive Secretary Luke Bersamin. And of course, please, thank you, please take your seats. Uh, Vice President Sara Duterte, members of the Cabinet, uh, yung iba nakaalis na. Uh, so, you're going to have to hold down the fort in the meantime. Uh, Pasay Lone District Representative uh, Antonino Calixto, uh, Chief of Staff uh, General uh, Romeo Browner, uh, Philippine National Police Chief uh, General uh, Romel Marbil, uh, Coast Guard Commandant, who's been uh, very busy in the past few uh, days, uh, Admiral uh, Ronnie uh, Gavan, fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, I leave for Washington, D.C. to attend the first Philippine-U.S.-Japan Trilateral Summit. It is a historic meeting, and a meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden and Japanese uh, Prime Minister Kishida Fumio, and it is aimed at advancing trilateral cooperation between our three countries, which have long enjoyed warm and friendly relations and robust cooperation. This visit builds upon my free previous meeting with Prime Minister Kishida and U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris last September in Jakarta. Uh, during This was actually a, what, the, what they, they called in diplomatic circles a pull-aside, where uh, uh, during the uh, uh, farewell dinner um, in, of ASEAN, because uh, it was the last uh, summit that uh, uh, Indonesia was uh, chairing, uh, we had a pull aside and uh, uh, we talked uh, quite, uh, uh, quite comprehensively about uh, the idea of having this trilateral agreement. Uh, this was also, the, the, the follow-up to this was held with our uh, foreign ministers and our national security advisors last year. During this uh, summit, I will underscore the, the importance of enhancing our continued economic cooperation with a view of promoting economic resilience and, of course, security. I intend to explore ways of advancing cooperation, especially in the areas of critical infrastructure, semiconductors, digitalization and cybersecurity, critical minerals, renewable energy, as well as defense and maritime cooperation. It is my intention also to exchange views with my U.S. and Japanese counterparts on various regional security issues of mutual concern, while continuing to reiterate the importance of upholding the rule of law and preserving the rules-based international order in the Indo-Pacific region. On the margins of the summit, I will also have a bilateral meeting with U.S. President Biden, uh, just uh, kabilang dalawa. At, uh, uh, I think he's also going to have that bilateral meeting with uh, Prime Minister Kishida, where we will continue our discussions on strengthening further this ali the, our alliance uh, between our two countries, and also to meet with U.S. business leaders to invite them once again to invest in the Philippines. I uh, look forward to uh, moving the discussion uh, to a, uh, a, a progressive discussion uh, so that uh, what our intention really is, is to strengthen the partnerships between our three countries, between the United States, Japan, and the Philippines. It is not, uh, it is mainly a, uh, an agreement to strengthen the cooperation on the economic front. 
Of course, security and defense is going to be part of that discussion. But nonetheless, uh, I think I can assure everyone that that is not the main intent of this trilateral agreement. Uh, the main intent of this trilateral agreement is for us to be able to continue to flourish, to be able to help one another, and of course, to keep the South China Sea as a uh, as a freedom uh, that, uh, to keep the peace in the South China Sea and the freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. Uh, to that end, um, this is the, the, the details of that are what we are going to be discussing very very soon, and uh, I hope to come back with some good results uh, in the next few days. Thank you very much, and good afternoon.